<laughs> so why is it that I get Porter dressed in his bathing suit and he wants nothing to do with the splash pad, but then I have him in regular clothes and he's all over the splash pad? Porter. Yeah, you don't have your bathing suit on. Gray thinks that's pretty funny. <gasps> Porter, don't eat your sticker. Don't, Porter, don't eat your sticker. Don't it's still eat hot. Sticker. We got the water toys back out. I had to do Porter's 11 month photo shoot today a couple days early because on the day he turns 11 months, on the 14th, we will actually be in Nashville. So we won't even see him. This is the first time that that has ever happened. All Grayson's tw first 12 months and up until now, all of Porter's, I've been with them. And this time it just didn't work out to where we won't be here. So I did a photo shoot this morning. I'll input pictures of that here. isn't really gonna hurt it so um, yeah I just wanted to get that done and out of the way I thought he would gain another pound but he actually is the same pounds that he was he's 21 pounds just like last month but he is 21.8 pounds so he did gain in ounces but usually every month up until now he's been gaining a pound up until this month we did the photo shoot and now we're just playing outside it is so so hot I'm so over this heat <laughs> And he's going back in. Yay, Porter! Yeah. I'm honestly surprised Gray isn't getting in the pool. Good job, Porter! Good singing. Hey guys, it is Thursday, which means it is the official start to Anthony and I's vacation, we can get away. I'm not really sure what you want to call it. Um, we are going on vacation to Nashville, but it's just for like three days. So I don't know if I call it a vacation, but anyway, we are leaving tonight. I've got the boys here. Are you spilling the bubbles? Yeah, Grayson is spilling bubbles. Porter's trying to eat a pine cone and he just puked. Lovely. This is what happens when he eats the dirt. He just pukes it up. Are you blowing bubbles? So yes, I have been spending the morning packing the boys up, getting them ready to go. This is Porter's like first time leaving the house, I guess, because we did go on a trip in June where my parents watched the boys for several days. But this is the first trip where like Porter is gonna be going somewhere without me. So it'll be different, but um, I'm a little nervous just cause Porter is so attached to me, but I think it'll be okay. So I've been getting them ready. Anthony's mom is on the way. She's gonna come and pick the boys up and take them to Toledo for the weekend. And then we're leaving tonight after Anthony gets off of work. He gets um, Friday off because they do like summer Fridays at his company. Um, but because he's so new at his company still, he isn't able to take any additional days off. So that's why we're only going for a couple days. So it's supposed to be so, so hot. It's already hot here. It's supposed to be like 91, 92 here. And in Nashville, I think it's like 94. <laughs> it's very, very hot. It's gonna feel tropical, right? We'll see. What are you doing? You just sitting there? Hi, hey, Porter. Porter does the bear crawl everywhere. He does not want his knees touching. Hi, Gray Gray. Hi, Gray Gray. So recently, the COVID um, has been a lot worse because of this Delta variant. And um, so schools originally were not going to mandate masks because it was getting better, but now it is getting worse because people are not getting vaccinated. And so, um, last night our local school district just announced that they are mandating masks. So I'm a little nervous for Gray. His preschool 
has not yet said that they're mandating masks. I hope that they're gonna keep it optional because I just truly don't know if I can get Grayson to wear a mask for two and a half hours straight. He's three. I just don't think I can do it. So I'm really hope that they're just going to leave it up to the parents. Um, obviously, Anthony and I are vaccinated. Obviously, our boys cannot be vaccinated yet because they have not come out with a vaccine yet. But I really hope that they do not force it on kids. What are they mandating in your schools? Are your masks optional or not? Because we're in a big city like Columbus, I think the Delta variant is just like spreading a lot faster and hospital capacity is decreasing. So it's kind of crazy, but um, hopefully, hopefully Gray doesn't have to wear a mask at preschool. I'll keep you guys updated though. Hey guys, I am coming at you from our hotel room in Nashville. Wow, my voice sounds really weird. I think it's because I was screaming last night. Sorry, it's kind of dark. I'm turning on the light. I think it was because I was screaming last night over the music. So we are actually wrapping up our trip in Nashville. We've had so much fun. Um, we've done kayaking. We did a pub bar crawl. We've had hot chicken. We've had biscuits. We've had meat and threes. And today we are going to have barbecue. When I looked up online, those were like the staples of different food to try while you're in Nashville. So we're gonna do that. Um, we're also gonna do some sightseeing today. Um, I guess there's a really cool view of the city, so we're gonna drive to that. And then um, there's a really cool park we're gonna go to, and then we're gonna drive home. So it was a really fun trip. I took clips here and there of different stuff. I didn't really take too much clips of the bars um, just cause it was packed, it was loud, it was dark. But we had fun, we met like people from all over the US um, and everyone was very friendly. Um, the drinks are so expensive here. <laughs> um, two nights out, it, that's enough for us. <laughs> but it is fun to hear all the live music. Nashville is an amazing city. Um, it's clean, it's um, well put together, it's uh, fun to walk around, like I haven't felt scared. So it's actually a really awesome city. I highly recommend you come to Nashville if you get the chance. It was an awesome little weekend getaway. The boys have had fun with Anthony's parents. Uh, we're excited to see them tonight um, and then back to regular life tomorrow. Although this starts a wedding week for my brother and his fiance. So it's just staying crazy. <laughs> of course, our life is so crazy. Plus it's back to school, starting the soccer. So lots of crazy things going on, but we have had so much fun in our little trip. It's so fun for Anthony and I to get away, just the two of us. Um, and the next trip that we have to look forward to is Jamaica in December. And that'll be fun. It won't just be Anthony and I, we're going with my whole family, um, but it'll be tropical and unlimited drinks. So uh, we have like five months to recover <laughs> drinking wise. So <laughs> anyway, um, I'll input some more clips of the sightseeing that we do today. And um, yeah, I think that'll be it for this vlog. So thanks for watching. Um, make sure to take trips if you have the opportunity. It's definitely a refresh on life and your relationship if you go with your significant other. So I definitely recommend it. So we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. <laughs>
And I've got my own personal driver. Motor. Motor. <laughs> Chauffeur. Nashville. It's so pretty. I was just saying the other day, I don't remember Nashville being that big of a city. <laughs> Downtown Nashville. The city of Nashville. Which it used to be called, what was it? Nashburg? Nashboro? It's the Nashville Parthenon. <laughs> this is Centennial Park. 